Hello and welcome to episode 11 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough here in cycle 17, day 3. Last time, we continued improving things up here on the top of the mountain, added some uh, recreational activities for our beavers, and improved well-being now to an average of 21, up from I think it was 14 or so. So we're going to continue in this episode a little bit more around uh, that kind of thing. We've got plenty more of these... Uh, irrigation barriers to install and what I would really like to get done today is to redo this pathetic industrial area that has just been completely uh, completely messed up for a very very long time so that's something that's going to take a little bit of time uh, for us to do pr appropriately I guess would be the uh, correct way to say it so before we tear any of this down we do need to make sure we have a decent stash of some of the stuff that it makes specifically planks because we're going to need a lot of those uh we're going to need to make sure gears are looking okay we have 320 which is probably fine uh the treated planks are going to be the big ticket here because we have to have those to make our uh irrigation barriers we have to have five of those and then 10 logs for each one of these so uh yeah we're, we're going to want to make sure that we're all good to go on that so i think what we'll do is i will actually go ahead and pause uh, these gear workshops and unpause this other wood workshop uh, get them going on that and then start focusing on some other stuff uh, we also want to make sure we have extract uh, i had paused this because we didn't have enough beavers and we didn't want to use all of our bad water but we have 1200 so let's just unpause those we don't currently have any infected beavers so we can actually go ahead and tear these down these decontamination pods uh, and start clearing out space for different things so let's go ahead and get rid of those all right, now that also presents to us a, a slight problem in that these are no longer connected. So just temporarily, we'll go ahead and we'll put this corner piece in, uh, get that nice and prioritized. So that's looking good. And we should at some point, hopefully <laughs> be able to tear all this down and properly set everything up. If we take a look at our power network here, uh, we're making more than we need currently. Uh, but also, if we got rid of these uh, compact water wheels, the uh, other engines would turn on. So I think that's what we're going to want to do, because one of the most important things uh, in the process of us getting this whole area uh, fixed up correctly is going to be to get rid of these and replace them with some of these guys. These uh, large water wheels, which we also need to continue doing around everything else. That means these bad water pumps are going to need to go somewhere else. We'll need to have two more wheels here is probably where we'll start and then uh, build everything accordingly. So uh, we'll make sure we're looking okay on that. Uh, everything down here is pretty much not going to change, at least for the time being. We do need, however, at some point to blast some uh, some little slots here so all this bad water can go away. or Or we can take advantage of it pulling here. And we can put one of those bad water pumps and extract a couple hundred uh, out of this pool right here. Because otherwise we have to go all the way out to the corner of the map. Which we're going to do at some point, but not right now. So that should uh, hopefully help solve some of our problems. And before the end of our first day here in this episode, I am going to reduce our working hours down to 16. Because uh, a lot of you in the comments had said, hey... Uh, your beavers don't have enough time to eat and drink, and that's why they're always hungry and thirsty. So, yeah, we can knock two hours off. That's fine. And then others had also said we need some more uh, some more lumberjacks, but uh, if you haven't noticed, they're cutting down all these trees just fine. So I think we actually have the perfect number. We just need to optimize things a little bit better. And then maybe down here, think about putting a couple more lumberjacks in. But uh, again, right now, I think we're okay. This whole area around the corner, uh, we've been slowly, slowly uh, detreeing, I guess would be the, the correct term for it, uh, with the intention of having a bunch of water pumps here. And we did put a lot in last episode. We now have seven over here. And we got rid of the ones in here so we could put our irrigation barriers in on this side. And that's looking pretty okay. So other things we want to do today, obviously... Uh, reclaim this area a little bit continue on the path of researching some stuff food wise we're looking fantastic uh, the only thing I can think of is we really where's the uh, I just went the complete wrong way didn't I yep 
um, our mangrove trees are over here. We really could use some more of those, and that is something we're going to keep building as we expand into different uh, areas over here. But for right now, everything's looking just fine. These guys do have food storage pretty close to where they live. These guys don't is part of the problem, so we will want to uh, build some more storage over here. It's not really that huge of an issue right now, especially since we just reduced the uh, working hours a little bit. So that's looking okay. Uh, the one concern I do have is our relative lack of logs, because we're going to need those to rebuild a lot of the stuff. We will get some back when we get rid of all of these uh, industrial things. But the most annoying thing is going to be not having treated planks, because uh, when we come in here to replace all that stuff, that is, hmm, yeah, not going to be a good time. So let's go ahead right now. And I know these guys are probably looking forward to having a nice, relaxing uh, campfire experience. So we can can let them uh, let them have that a little bit. We can put in some irrigation barriers in other places, and we'll go ahead and get rid of our deep bad water pumps here. Uh, these are actually not empty. I thought they might have been, but they're not. So we will kind of leave those alone for a little bit. Uh, just build up some of our irrigation barriers. Make sure this is set up correctly. I think it is, but I honestly can't remember. Yes. Okay, we're good to go. Yeah, we just need to get the rest of this hooked up. Nobody's here. So that means... Yeah, I probably should uh, probably should just use the demolished buildings tool. I never, never really use that too much. But what we'll do instead is we'll just bring this one back here. And get these guys all set, ready to go. And then this is still a pretty important connection right here. I don't think we want to get rid of this quite yet. We can put those in last. It would be really nice if we could get this finished before the end of uh, this temperate cycle here. But that, of course, is going to require us to do all sorts of building, all sorts of advancement, and that's uh, not always the easiest or fastest thing to do. So let's go ahead and put this in two times mode because I don't think my laptop can handle three times mode, and we'll get going here. Now, there are still some things that were in the middle of building from last episode, uh, like all of our recreation over here. And a couple people said, hey, why don't you uh, why don't you build your labor monuments one tile over? Because then your beavers could get a, a little bit more of a bonus on the uh, the pass over here. But hey, they're already uh, they're already on this one. And I'm not worried about it not touching this path because they're they're going to sleep in here. So they're going to get a huge buff from that. So that's really not not something I'm super concerned about. The uh, bonus doesn't seem to go away. Like you take a look at this, we got okay, 154 out of 156. So not quite everybody. But we'll check again toward the end of the day and see just how many of those guys still have that buff. If I remember. Yeah, so hopefully they're going to start uh, start building these things. The logs, that's going to be the thing that's going to be a little challenging. Because there's just so much other stuff going on. You need to make sure these are actually staffed. And they are... I think part of the problem is these aren't prioritized by haulers. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure these guys are good to go. Because we do have, uh, what, like six of these in here? Or is it just four? Yeah, these two are... Yeah, they're gatherer flags. I should have uh, should have remembered that. If you prioritize those by haulers, then they can be here by haulers as well. These guys can just focus on cutting trees down. Because there is wood here. There's wood here, there's uh, wood over here we haven't even gotten to yet. At some point we probably will. But that's uh, going to be something we get to. We have a lot of storage for water that we're not really using, but we're also not out, so I'm not entirely uh, not entirely worried about that. Now, middle of the day, let's check our well-being again. Yeah, see, they, they still got the still got the buff. I think we're going to be fine. going to be A-OK -okay there. One thing we're not going to do at this exact moment in time is uh, put the Flame of Unity down Firstly, because we don't have the science, but also that's a lot of planks that we really, really need to make sure we're using uh, to build these irrigation barriers. So let's prioritize these by haulers, help these guys out a little bit. Uh, we do still have plenty of pine resin, and this guy, well, that's a farmhouse, that's right, I took the uh, thing and moved it over here. 
we do still have some pine resin on the trees that we can harvest, so that is looking A-OK. -okay. This is looking good as well. We have 36 open beds, so everything is going to be just fine for those guys. Yeah, the only kind of uh, the only kind of irritating part about doing this is you do have to wait for the construction to happen, and uh, we do have a lot of builders, including the guys in the district center. We should have should have 20 of them, and we do. So they just have to get to what they can get to with the resources they have access to, and right now the limiting factor is the uh, treated planks. We're not out of them, but uh, the production is definitely not going to be able to keep up. So in, uh, uh, see, I, I just, I kind of want to uh, build a couple more of these to try and expedite the process, but I'm not, not exactly sure that we can, uh, we do, hey, look at that, up to 24. I guess that's part of the benefit of cutting the uh, work hours down. Food-wise, looking fine. I, I thought about, I thought about kind of messing with this a little bit, but I think that present time we don't really need to worry about it it doesn't seem to be that big of an issue of course we can keep monitoring everything but we should be able pretty soon to just uh completely unplant all these kohlrabis or at least a uh, at least a good amount of them over here uh, just get these guys harvested and eventually reclaim all this i mean they haven't even built one of these yet what's the deal like what are they uh I guess they're still working on this stuff over here, which, I mean, it's nice, but it's not the most important stuff ever. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and deprioritize uh, these guys right here so they can go focus on building these things. Yeah, we really, really want to make sure this is taken care of because that's going to allow us to build the rest of this stuff. So we'll go ahead. Nice, up to 25. We'll go ahead and build these other platforms right here so we can put our big uh, power wheels in place, large water wheels, whatever you want to call the things. And those are going to take a pretty good amount of resources. We want to make sure those are good to go, because once that's in place, what we can do is we can actually build the industrial stuff kind of on top of some of the storage, like these large industrial piles, because remember we have the uh, the power in the vanilla the version of this mod, or this mod, this item, just has this one, wait, are these turning in opposite directions? Hmm. Okay, that's kind of suspicious, but um, but you can kind of see like right here, this comes in on this what would be the second story of this building, and most of the rest of our industrial stuff outside of I think the bot part factories isn't even two stories, so we can just put a bunch of these industrial piles on the bottom, maybe some medium, uh, medium storages like this, and then we can just build our industrial stuff on top, and that will also help us organize things and uh, keep things a little bit nicer looking. So that's going to be our plan for dealing with the rest of this. We could actually go ahead, since this is empty, go ahead and get rid of that. And obviously the planks we don't want to do quite yet, but we do want to make sure that we're going to be in a good position to take advantage of all this stuff. Yeah, I think we're going to be just fine. It's going to be a little awkward, a little weird building this up, but I believe we'll be able to make this look pretty nice in the end with plenty of storage for everything we have to uh, have to have over here. And everything will be A-OK. -okay. The only the only question I've got is about these uh, these logs right here. Please do not crash game, thank you. My computer is trying its absolute best. Maybe about another week or so until I'm uh, back with my regular setup, but we're making it work. And now this is just about to be connected right here. And we will have to plant uh, these oak trees again as well. So since we're already here, let's just go ahead and do that. Get that nice and uh, stuck in right there. And that should, should in theory, fully complete that. Once this log is out, I can put this uh, piece of path back in. And we'll be good to go. Now, how are we looking on these? Okay, good. They're making good progress with that. It's about all we can ask, you know, just make it work with what you have. And they don't seem to be cutting. Uh, these are still marked for cutting. Don't worry, I'm not that dumb. Uh, they don't seem to be cutting these down with any urgency. So I don't know, maybe that's just a thing where these guys are too far away. I think they would benefit from having 
It would benefit from having another access over here. So uh, once this is terraformed correctly, and we have our irrigation barriers here, then I can just have this come down again. In fact, oh, do I want to mess with that? I don't think I do. I was just thinking about, should I? Oh, I don't even have the science to unlock it anyway, so that answers that question. But this would be a great connection right here. So, you know what? You know what? Oh, that's a lot of planks. But that would really improve, would really improve connectivity. I think we have to do it. I think we have to just bite the bullet and connect these. So let's do that. It, it's not gonna, it's not gonna infect them with the bad water. I don't think. If it does, then uh, I guess some of you guys get to have an "I told you so" moment with me. But let's uh, hope it doesn't come to that. Um, oh, I should make this uh, a double platform because I'm gonna have to come over the top of this. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll do that. We'll do that. So this corner. It's going to be a ladder. There we go. Just run it like that. And then this will go right up the side here. This is uh, definitely not a beautiful solution. But it should work just fine. If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. It's our favorite motto here. Well, one of our favorite mottos. I would like to have a, a more elegant solution to that. But um, that can be something we can try to solve later. Yeah, so now one of our issues is uh, we don't have any storage for the treated planks, although I'm pretty sure how they're scooping these things up just as fast as they're being made. So we've got a decision to make with that. We have plank storage. Um, we don't have any other plank storage outside of this industrial pile, and I do need to remove this to put in the other stuff. So what if... Ah, uh, you know what... I think, I think, depending on how this is going to be laid out, how did I have this one? Oh, okay, that's going to have to be, this is going to have to be a path here, and this is going to have to be a path here, so it actually couldn't just get turned around 180 degrees. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the problem, unless, unless the only, um, the only path here was inside, I think, yeah, that's probably what we'll end up doing anyway. If that's the case, then we could actually could actually turn this around. But then if that's the case there, then I would also want I'd also want this to be I don't know, I I might I might just be overcomplicating things. But it does say we have a... Uh, oh, never mind. We have no storage. That's just in the buildings that are making those things. Yep, that's uh that's gonna be a fun problem to solve. Well, not the end of the world. We do have some time still. They're not harvesting these kohlrabis, which I guess I shouldn't really be surprised, considering we have 1,400 of them. <laughs> they're not really uh, not really using them, so oh, they're already set to harvest. All right. And there's nothing else for them to grab except kohlrabi, so no, uh, no real problems there. What are we lacking construction material of? It's the treated planks? Yep, sure is. Okay, so I think it's time for us to just go ahead and... Where is that thing? Yeah, I think we're going to have to just uh, make some more wood workshops and just kind of deal with it. But we're making a lot of power here. Making quite a bit. So we actually want to connect that to all of this stuff. But I don't really have anywhere to build one of these things. This is this is connected here, making fermented soybeans. Yeah, we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of soybeans here. We don't have a lot of cassava. That's what I was going to maybe think about. Uh, expanding was our cassavas over here. In fact, uh, this this amount of canola now doesn't seem like it's enough. I mean, we have a thousand of the oil, which is good, and we're not going to be able to use the canola for anything else. But I did I did say I was going to plant another row of the canola here because this is five, yeah, and this is only four. So I guess we can just go ahead and do this. That'll be fine there. I believe I believe we'll see some sort of a uh, a run on soybeans here in the near future that will make me uh, regret getting rid of any amount of this stuff. But uh, we'll see what happens. Food-wise, we're looking really good. 
So it's not going to be the end of the world if we stop having 8,200 food and have 7,500 instead. I'm not going to be upset about that. <laughs> that's that's just not a not an issue. But we we are going to be approaching uh, kind of a day of reckoning <laughs> up here with our with our space, especially if we uh, if we get a bad tide or a drought. I guess a drought would be worse because then we're not going to be generating any power with our uh, our water wells because we're we're making a lot right here. And this is definitely, definitely going to want to have this all connected up. So before I forget, since I don't have the, uh, I don't have the flywheels in this specific playthrough right now because I'm on a different computer, and I didn't want to try to download a billion different mods. But if we connect these two, that's going to share power, and I mean we still have tons anyway. I don't think I want to mess with the, uh, don't think I want to mess with gravity batteries right now. Plus, that's a lot of metal we don't really have. Uh, this this is progressing reasonably well. And there's no reason we can't keep building these irrigation barriers. We just have to have stuff removed to uh, build in place. But this is empty, this medium tank, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, we are chewing through the bad water about as fast as we can with just this one <laughs> centrifuge pretty much uh, doing all that. So we're going to need to relocate the bad water storage. And we're going to want to do that in accordance with uh, where our centrifuge and our explosives factory is. So, you know, we actually don't need to make any more dynamite right now. I'm going to pause this. And in fact, I'm going to get rid of it because we're going to get rid of it anyway. And you know what I can put there without having to reconfigure anything else? That's right, another one of these bad boys. So we can get that thing, get that thing going real quick. And then uh, we still have... Oh, we're still making gears? Did I have a... Uh, a gear factory somewhere that I didn't uh, didn't know about, or I'm, oh, we're just picking them up from the ground. Okay, that that's what that is, because these guys right here are not uh, not gonna be doing too much. All right, so here's what here's what we're gonna do. We'll just get rid of those. I know, I know. Probably probably better things I could be doing with my time, but uh, we really <laughs> we really do need these. So I can just build two more of those, and we'll call that a day. We'll chew through our planks a little bit faster, but uh, I think in the long run it's going to be worth because we are going to need those for a lot more than just the irrigation barriers. It's going to be nice to have those when we finally have to get into the uh, the uh, dirt excavator and all that fun stuff. So, that being said, let's come down here. Uh, this is still under construction, but it's uh, pretty far along. So that's looking good. This is going to save so much time for these guys having to go all the way down here. They can just go zoop, 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 just like that. Hopefully they make that noise too, because that's a fun noise. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to move. Going to have to move these. I think as long as we have one tank, at least one, they can just pick it up off the ground. So that should be okay. Uh, I, I want to start building here. And if we have these guys moved we can go ahead and move this path out to about here then yeah we can cut these things back oh my poor computer yeah let's just grab those paths underneath the rubble don't delete the rubble because there's actually stuff in there we want i probably could zoom in that might help a little bit maybe just a maybe just a touch all right, so that's out of the way. Now we just have to decide how we're going to have this laid out. And I think I'm going to want... Oh, lag. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. All right. I think if we have this whole quadrant, well, at least part of this set up as an industrial area, I can go all the way to the edge here, which is going to mean this goes here, which is going to mean this goes here, which is going to mean this goes here and here. And what that's going to do is that's actually going to leave some space on the edge here. And I guess that's probably okay. Probably okay. There's there's other things we can put here. We can put in uh, some small warehouses or small piles uh, directly off the site because we are going to want to be building on top of this. So if we did that, this one would be here, this one would be here, and this one would be all the way in the corner. I think that's going to be best. So we will put... Uh, just for the sake of having storage, I'm going to make these... These two for planks, so that I can get rid of this one, which I can do right now. Then we can get rid of this whole path here. 
There we go. And then we can have them start putting in the uh, irrigation barriers right here. There we go. And then we can just indiscriminately line these things up real quick. And this is already paused. Lumberjack flag, that can go away, that can go away, that can go away. And then, yeah, that's going to be nice having five of these right here. So we're going to have planks, planks. Um, I might as well just make these for logs because we're going to be working with all sorts of that stuff here. So uh, the idea that I had was since we have the ladders, we can just line up planks and gears workshops right along the top of this and then just put ladders in front of every single um, pile doorway or close uh, close enough to entrances of other buildings where it's going to be nice and connected there. And we can go ahead and have this path come up like so. And that's going to allow us to get rid of this. Yeah, that's going to be nice. That is going to work out super, super well. So uh, we have five times two. We have 15. Not quite wide enough to put, uh, put eight of these things up on top. But don't forget we have this space right here. So why don't we, with these smaller off to the side things, just put a couple of these small industrial piles and these guys, what did I say was in the middle here? Logs. These would be probably not bad spots for treaty planks in this specific area. So that's going to take care of all of our wood needs, at least for right now. This is going to give us only 60 storage for treaty planks, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Look at this. Look at these. These guys are already ready to go. And once, uh, once all of this is connected appropriately, then we'll be, we'll be looking really good for power. Right now, the demand is actually about even because we do have these uh, engines here, so we don't really have to worry about it. But once everything else is fully installed, rock and roll, and we're going to be in some deep stuff if we don't have all of our power connected. But it's going to be just fine. So, uh, let's see, we have here logs. On top of the logs, I'm going to put the uh, lumber mills, but I'm not going to build from this side because this is not going to uh, be fun if we're having to play catch up. So, we're going to build from the other end. And we're going to build the gear workshops first. And let's not forget we can flip these natively. Thank you, Mechanistry, for making that a default vanilla feature. That is long, long overdue. But if we go ahead, I think... Let's let's consult our math again here. One plank every three hours into a gear. The industrial lumber mill every 0.63 hours. So roughly, roughly every two-thirds of an hour you get one plank. So in one hour's time you get about 1.3 planks. It's probably not exactly that, but uh, for all intents and purposes, that's what we're going to roll with. So theoretically, each one of these can support two thirds of a gear workshop. I know I probably got the math wrong. Oh, no, no, I did get the math super wrong. I know this is going to absolutely like f inflame some of you in the comments. That's fine. It's kind of fun, <laughs> kind of fun reading angry comments about simple mistakes. That's not why I do it. I do it because I'm dumb, not because I'm vindictive. That's the very different things. So what I should be doing is in every three hours, how many planks are made, which is uh, more than one. So I digress. We can have a lot more of these gear workshops than we had before. So I'm going to put uh, four of these, four of these to start. And then four of these guys, just right next to each other. They'll be nice and connected. And then we'll have our uh, our platforms. And then, of course, we'll have a ladder in a strategic location. Uh, but it's probably, probably going to end up being in between doorways here. So if I just go ahead and build this one first, it's probably in the right spot. And then, yeah, okay, that's fine. So we'll put that guy there, that guy there. And then we'll have one ladder here. And then I think we'll have a ladder down here on the end. Would make the most sense. Oh no, it's not connected anymore. Well, calm down. It'll be connected. Don't worry. We'll have one ladder here, one ladder here. And then I will put one more here in the middle. Just make sure it's in the right spot. And it is, yep. I think that's going to be fine. I think we will be pretty happy with that. Just get this all hooked up with the path. And that is going to be, oh, it's going to be so nice when that's actually uh, actually up and running the way we want it to be. Hopefully they can still reach reach these as long as they build them in the correct order because that's going to be uh, 
Gonna be a little bit of a problem if it's not uh, not done correctly. I think, I think hopefully, because you know they can't walk on top of these. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We are going to have to maybe uh, consider if we want to put a water wheel here as well. How we're going to get onto that because, like I said, they can't walk on top of these. Eh, we'll see what happens. Let's prioritize getting this ladder in place. Because that's going to allow them to start building on top of this. And get these gears up and running. They already built one of them. But if I have these three, this platform, this platform, and this ladder right here, they can actually start using the gears gear workshops and we can get rid of the rest of these things. So that's good progress there. We are uh, pretty happy about that. Things down here. Yeah, this is this is really improved things. So it, again, it's a little ugly, just a little bit, but it is very efficient use of space. Looking really, really good. And what we can actually do is we could actually have Platforms extend down here, and then I could have this whole row here uh, planted as some more oak trees. I don't think we're going to do that right now because that's going to take a lot of logs that we don't have. And obviously we want to be building these things as a priority. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But good news is we have, uh, we have all these trees slowly growing, and uh, this should be working just fine as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just expand. Nope, that's not the right tool. There we go. Plant oak trees. I'm going to go ahead and expand this right here just because I thought I thought I might be putting storage here, but now, now we can use the space to grow trees. That's fine. Now over here, there's plenty of, uh, plenty of trees ripe for the taking. The only bad thing is uh, it's going to take us a lot of logs and planks to get across here. And I think those would be better uh, put elsewhere. Good news, though, is these guys are uh, working gear workshop-wise. Uh, these are no longer accessible because I did not <laughs> did not finish this ladder. So let's uh, let's go ahead and just get the ladders done so they can you know actually get places, and that will take care of those problems. We'll be able to keep making our. Uh, are treated planks. And it looks like they are building these in the correct... Oh, they can walk on top of these. Oh, I just can't put paths on top of them. Okay. All right. I was about to be like, well, oh, what's up with that? It didn't make any sense. But that's looking good. Food's still looking good. Water is steadily improving. And uh, we, it says we have 146 bad water, but that's not true because we have a lot still sitting on the ground. And they're going to end up uh, picking it up at some point. But we have 162 extract. Hopefully we don't have to use it for the beavers. Uh, we can use it for stuff like making explosions instead. And that's something we were going to do as well, is putting the uh, the pumps in the corner here. If we take a look at how this is set up, I'm still not sure exactly what the best way to lay this out would be. But I do think I want to uh, I want to explode this down. Uh, had a couple people comment that say they'd rather have me build this up as a levee, but that's, you have any idea <laughs> how much wood that's going to take? And also, I, I think this looks nicer, but uh, we'll see. Maybe, uh, depending on how long this series goes for, we might might end up trying something like that. But for right now, I think stuff is looking just fine. I really want them really want them to be uh, finishing these ladders, though. And it looks like this one's just about done. So we'll get our wish pretty quick here. Just need to have somebody come finish it. And then, oh, this is blocked off anyway. So why, uh, yeah, we, we can't, uh, can't get rid of this fast enough. There we go. Now they have access to all of that storage. And yeah, they can start building these things real quick. So now, kind of the uh, the hope that I had was I was going to be able to get rid of some of these. But I really need to make sure we have our uh, irrigation barriers in place. In fact, you know, I probably should have built them on the farm first. I have them on this side. I really, really should have been on this side. So I'll tell you what. I'm just going to do this real quick. What's in, what's in this? 
gears. Okay, well, um... Oh, that's the only storage for gears we have. Yeah, we gotta build gear storage. Gotta build gear storage over here. So maybe that's something, uh... Eh, that's something we can figure out at some other point in time, but this this has to go away. Fortunately slash unfortunately, we don't have the uh, we don't have the ability to really uh, move it quite yet. But these little tiny tanks that don't have anything in them, yeah, they can go away. Those can definitely definitely go away. And we're gonna have to uh, think about how we have the rest of this set up too, because let's not forget. Uh, how did I do this? Ladder, ladder. Which way was it facing? It's not like it really matters. Uh, this corner piece needs to be laddered, and then this needs to be platformed. At least right here, so we can build everything appropriately. This I had turned into a ladder on that other side. But we do have to be careful now because of uh, the relative lack of wood with which we find ourselves. So it probably, probably is in my best interest to just go ahead and get rid of, uh, get rid of some of these guys here, especially since we have them up here. This, oh, well, this is actually going to completely disconnect power production, but, but that's not a big deal because that's going to give us some logs back, and this is connected to a huge, huge amount of power here. We just have to move these. Uh, Planks, uh, I, well, I can't even remember what these things are called. I'm looking at the name. Wood Workshops, that's the name of the item. Just have to move these upstairs. And I think, depending on how we have this set up, because the large storages, large warehouses are two stories tall. The mediums are one, but they hold substantially fewer items. We could, however, because of the way this is set up, just build a, uh, a whole bunch of these things underneath and then have the, the four wide buildings on top, four long, whatever you want to call it. I think that might be the thing we want to do here. But we also also really, really need to focus <laughs> on saving our crops here. Now, it's not really uh, not really an enviable position we find ourselves in. We kind of uh, kind of overextended our wood supply without having uh, too much of a solution to that. Well, uh, pine resin, we also don't have a ton of either. Because we don't, uh, well, we do have a storage. But this guy right here is currently sleeping. Well, that's fine. He's allowed to, allowed to sleep. But we'll see uh, We'll see what he's going on here. Does he have extra to harvest? Oh, he sure does. Yeah, yeah, he has, he has some extra he can get to. So we will need to acquire wood through other means. Seems like this is doing okay. Uh, we have been harvesting these mangrove trees for wood because they just keep dying because we don't have terraforming yet. Oh, uh, if I had a little bit less common sense, I would uh, I would just have them come over here and build some stairs. But uh, for us to build this same thing over here would probably take a couple hundred logs worth of wood materials, and I just don't think that's advisable. We do, however. Uh, we have this big storage tower here, which honestly, with how this is set up, we probably don't need, probably don't need to have, we can get some wood out of that. Yeah, you know, I think that might, might be what we want to do, just to get rid of, yeah, look at that, look at that. Hey, get rid of that thing, because we do have to uh, eventually move it anyway. So that's actually going to allow us to do that. I'll tell you what, let's pause. I know it's everybody's favorite activity. Uh, let's get this in place here. Double platform. And then ladders. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll move, we'll move this across here. And then just to preempt what we're going to have over here. Yeah, let's do that. That is going to, it's not going to future-proof everything, but it's going to go a long way uh, toward us being able to harvest these, of course. Uh, we'll put irrigation barriers here. We'll start growing additional trees as we start moving things away from the top here. Because I think we're going to need more farming up here than we're going to need wood. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We've got these guys going here. 
We now have the wood, since this is all finished, we now have the wood to be able to take care of this. And since we are where we are, I was trying to think of a way to get power across here. The, the paths keep crossing this, which is, well, I mean, that's how it's designed, which I guess was my fault. But there's got to be a way. We, we might just have to bite the bullet and uh, just uh, move these guys up. So if we're going to do that, let's do some uh, some quick mental visual geometry math here. It's probably a recipe for disaster. But if I have here and here, we'll have one. Actually, I could just look at this. They're the same size. So doorway here, doorway here, and then we'll have to have a pathway in between. Doorway here, doorway here, pathway in between. Doorway here, doorway here, pathway in between. And then that's actually not going to work that well for that. But I think, I think that's what we're going to want to do. So if I go ahead, oh no, I can't put, I can't put that there because the path has to go there. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Well, that actually works out. That eh, works out fine, I suppose. I can get rid of this. That's still going to be connected just fine. So the path is actually, by the time we get around to doing everything, the path is going to be here. So that actually might push this over in a manner that would uh, would work nicely for us to build this here. Of course, we'll make it uh, into uh, gear storage. Probably isn't. Probably should go over here. So let's, for right now, not uh, not put gears there. But if we did that, put that here. That's going to be a path. This will be here. This will be here. This will be a path which we can go ahead and uh, put in. This has nothing in it. So goodbye. Path here. So that's going to give us space here for path and there. Um, you know what? We could. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know I probably sound like an insane person doing this, but that's fine. Worse. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's centered. I shouldn't be surprised because that was literally designed to uh, to be that way. But that's gonna be nice. How have we still not gotten our... There it is. All right, so it's a drought, which is not ideal for power generation. By not ideal, I mean actually really bad. <laughs> but that's... Uh, at least it's not bad water. So that means we can uh, stop focusing on making irrigation barriers for the time being and instead focus on just getting stuff built. Uh, the, only, the only bad thing is uh, we have no power storage. I really should have installed the flywheels mod, and I, pr I probably could still, honestly, but we did last episode without it, and uh, today's episode I did not think was going to be that big of a deal. But th the silver lining to that is when we have our drought and we're not making any power, we don't have to worry about keeping these buildings running. We just have to make sure we have enough, uh, enough planks and everything to get stuff done. So this actually is almost, almost an ideal situation for us. So let's go ahead and get these guys used to this. Uh, oh, I can't disconnect this engine, can I? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll reconnect with that and I'll just disconnect it from this side. Yeah, so these, yeah, that's gonna be fine. So what, like I was uh, saying earlier, we'll do this and then we'll do this. That's right, we have the technology we have the capability to make that work. So actually, knowing knowing how this is set up, is this... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, this is so pathetic that I'm excited by this. But hey, you know, sometimes, sometimes in life you just got to celebrate the little stuff like this. You'll be a lot happier that way. So let's... Uh, yeah, let's move these wood workshops upstairs, shall we? Because uh, that's pretty much the only thing right here we're going to want to have more than a couple of. Although, I think I think it might actually make more sense to have the wood workshops down here because this is where the planks are. Oh, but this storage down here... Oh, no, 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 that works out fine. Because the storage underneath these guys is going to be planks. Yeah, yeah, and then this storage can be gears like we uh, like we thought it was going to be. Yeah, so we'll just have this be complete gear city. 
that works out just fine. Yeah, so we can build those up here, and then on this this side down here, I guess it, it doesn't really matter. It's not really that big of a space in the first place. So here and here will be just fine. I can already hear people saying, but wait, there's no power connection. Well, friends, well, friends, let me tell you about a wonderful thing called a power shaft going right here. Yes, I know the ladder's here, but but we can move. We can move the ladder. We have the technology. <laughs> we, we, can, uh, we can move it to be right here instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Move this guy, move the uh, path underneath. Can I can I click on the path? Can I click on the path, please? Please? There we go. Move that guy right here. That's what I'm talking about. Get rid of that, and then... Yeah, that can just be a regular thing, and then we'll just have the uh, doorway flipped on the other building on this side. So, we can go ahead... Get rid of this stuff, get rid of that stuff. That's not really going to be that big of a deal. These are all still connected just fine. This is all connected just fine. I think we're going to be just fine. I use the word fine a lot, don't I? We got a lot of unemployed beavers. Why is that? I guess we're just continuing to increase our population. It's probably what it is. Uh, this is still not uh, still not finished. I'll tell you what. Let's just prioritize this, uh, get that going, because we are going to really, really enjoy having access to all of these trees. So let's just make sure I have this running. Oh, the lag, yes. Feed me. Um, how did I have this set up? I had that pretty much equidistant between... Yeah, we'll worry about it. Worry about it some other time. This is going to dry out, which is fine, because we're not currently growing any trees. We're just harvesting them. But we do need to make sure we have it set up uh, correctly. Because I am going to put, eventually, more water wheels in. And we'll have, uh, I'm sure, some other sort of uh, metal refinement happening down here. Because we are actually... Oh, we're completely full. Completely full on metal blocks. That means it's probably about time for us to get into some excavation. Maybe. Well, because you use that to build the dirt excavator. But... We also, if we're really feeling nasty, we could start making bots. I don't know. I don't I don't think we need to get into bots quite yet, but there is going to be a little bit of a benefit to, uh, to having the bots. I will say, I'm going to get rid of these stairs before anything tragic occurs. Just to uh, remove that temptation. Our lovely, but very, very stupid beavers. All right, so that's looking fine. All right, this has already been constructed here. Uh, that ladder is in place, which means this can stop being a ladder. That can be connected, and then that can just be a regular platform. And then we can put our power shaft just like so. And that's going to connect nicely with a path. So what we'll do in preparation for having our irrigation barriers, uh, we can go ahead and build platforms here. And we can start putting buildings on top once we get everything put in place. So this is actually working out perfectly for us to get this whole thing just completely, completely redone. We will be in very, very good shape. This is, uh, oh man, this video is already going to be long. Well, that's fine. We're getting stuff done. I got no problem with that. Let's, uh, let's turbo speed through the night here. Ah, yes, low frame rate, but that's fine because we're making good progress. We are making very, very good progress. So since we're already here, I will go ahead and put in another wood workshop. Uh, we do have the resources, so that's fine. I think we're going to want... There we go, well-being of 26, nice. I think we're going to want four of these wood workshops. Um, the storage right now is actually kind of full on them, but that's fine because we're not really... Not really that worried about it. We'll have four wood workshops. And then, uh, let's see. Metal, I'm not really worried about because that's down here. Um, explosives factories could go up here. And then I'm just trying to think in terms of buildings that are four tiles long. Explosives factories probably are going to want to have two of those. 
And then uh, we don't have books because this is the Iron Teeth. So I don't really think there's any other four wide buildings. There's also no rule that says the buildings have to be four wide. I just felt like that would make more sense here. So if we, uh, yeah, if we, if we had that set up the way everything else is currently set up, I think that would work out fine to just have four of these and then two explosives factories. And then right here, we'll have a four block wide space to do something else with. We can't put a centrifuge there because the power only connects in the middle. Um, I don't know. We'll figure something out. It's not complicated. Definitely, definitely not complicated. So storage wise on our treated planks, we are completely full. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I know we don't need them right now. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, start building irrigation barriers on our farm area. And I'm just going to low priority them. Because now that this is connected, I have all these unemployed beavers. We might as well make good use of them and get these, uh, get these guys going here, getting some of this uh, wood out of the way. So we'll make sure to give them... A little bit of storage here. I probably should have. Uh, oh, I could just put storage over the canal here. That would probably make sense. But I will put for right now uh, one of these set here to supply. And all that water is gone. Wait for these to automatically uh, change. All right, five day drought. So we'll go back down to two times speed here. Oh, that runs so much better. <laughs> so much better. All right, but now we're not making any more power except for the generators, engines. I can't ever use the correct terminology for anything and it's very frustrating. Um, now I'm not gonna feel so bad about getting rid of this because we are using our treated planks uh, to put in here and that is a-okay. I think the time is ripe for us to just clear cut all of this and uh, get stuff going here because we are, wait, hold on. Can I, uh, can I actually just rotate that one? Oh, that would be nice. Oh, I might not be able to because of that ladder placement. I don't know. We'll see. If I put this here, put this here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. We're about to create a thing of beauty. So, uh, <laughs> I know, I know. We're, we're, we're in the, uh, the drought. And we're not going to have any power. And here I am uh, getting rid of these engines and things. But, but... Uh, we, we can still have these. We can just have to uh, build them with some sort of power transfer thing up here. Not going to be a problem. So let's, yeah, let's just get rid of all of this. Say a very uh, heartfelt thank you and goodbye and good riddance to all of this. Just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. Food processing can move across the way here. Or we could leave it over here. Just depends on what we want to do, but we have so much food. It is a-okay. I don't think we need to feel bad about this at all. Plus, it's going to give us tons of new, uh, tons of new fun stuff to play with. So that is going to, oh, that's going to be so much better. So much better. Look at us being all productive and stuff here. Love to see it. All right, so that is now hooked up here. Oh, that's so much better. Now this is ready here. I just have to put the, oh, come on. Come on, computer, thank you. Uh, these are all gears, these four right here, so that's gonna be storage of 800 gears. That should be enough for right now. But now we have to decide what's gonna go down here. Uh, we're gonna obviously need to have uh, pine resin which I think I will make uh, these two storages into pine resin for our uh, medium warehouses. And now we can't use uh, can't use paper storage down here for dynamite because, well, the iron teeth don't even have paper, and the dynamite isn't made with paper anymore in the first place. So instead what we can do is this one right here on the outside. All this is food. Hey, you know what? More gear storage. That's fine. Then on the back side here, uh, we can make dynamite. Are we ever going to need 600 dynamite? I sure hope not. But, but if we ever do, we have it. 
and we can always change it to be something else. Now, now what we can do, let's pop this guy right here, and then we can come down to explosives factories. Do we have enough? Do we have enough? I think we do. Pop that there, pop that there, and then we have space here to do some other fun stuff. And there's no rule that says, I always want to say there's no rule that says the dog can't play basketball. Uh, but um, there's no rule that says we can't do food stuff up here too. And in fact, the way this is set up, this is more or less a perfect place to put a couple of oil presses. The only problem is uh, getting access to stuff. But, you know, that's really not a problem anyway because we have the ladders right here. So I'll tell you what. We'll put two oil presses right here. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's going to be so nice because the pathway is down here. The, oh, you know what that means? You know what that means? Oh, I'm about to get excited. Let's um, let's change this to be uh, yes, canola seeds. Oh, I'm so smart, kind of. <laughs> Sometimes, with uh, the help of my friends in the comments. Look at look at us go! Look at us go! We're getting stuff done, man. We are making it work. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's for sure. Oh, you know what that means. <laughs> that means that could be canola seeds, too, because guess what? Guess what? That can be. Yeah, look at us go, man. Look at us go. Actually, that one's going to have to be uh, going to have to be flipped back. I guess we could put. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I say when no one listening has any idea what I'm thinking about because they can't read my minds. And if you can't read my mind, um, well, that's kind of kind of weird. Don't judge me too hard. But uh, I digress. Let's uh, let's get this all covered up. I'm gonna want to put. Where do I have the uh, things here? Yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. Since there's no other doorways on this side, I just need to have access uh, to get to these two. So that should be okay. We'll just have this for right now, hooked up like so. And that's, oh, we're gonna be in such good shape. Wait, how, are, how do these have power? Oh, this one's still turning. Okay, okay, that's kinda of weird, but all right. We'll roll with it. And I need to, I need to build the rest of these. Uh, yeah, look at all the wood we have now. I need to, I need to really start getting this put in place. And this is no longer going to be passable. We're going to have to have uh, going to have to have some sort of a path to get over here. So what's probably going to happen? Yeah, this has to be replaced with a ladder. Um, yeah, we can we can just go ahead and knock some of this out. I know we're not going to be able to get all of this done in this episode. This is going to be a long one, as I've already said. I think I think at this point it's probably past an hour. But it's uh, it's going to be worth it to have this taken care of before the next time we get a get a chance to head on into this playthrough again. Let's make this high priority because then once that's in place, I can get this whole thing uh, done up to the middle here, and then I just have to figure out how I'm going to get beavers across. I I guess I mean I was going to do it here. But I could also could also do it here. I don't know. No matter what, I know I can come in here with the irrigation barriers and get that going. This has already been deprioritized, even though it probably should be prioritized. You know how this works. Plenty of stuff going. These are all connected now, power-wise, which is nice. We also can't forget oh, we're going to have power here as well. Oh, that's why I couldn't have this connect here. Because these were going to have to be... Uh, Oh, I hope I didn't mess this up. Um, okay, so that's... I literally picked <laughs> the worst possible place. Oh, no. Oh, that's a disaster. So I'll tell you what. Um, this is going to have to... Is there a doorway there? I, I don't even remember what I put in here. The doorway is right there. Okay. All right, so here's here's what we got to do. I've got to got to redo this. I know. I'm sorry. We'll make it work. We're making it work. Put this uh, pathway out of its misery here. There we go. Look at this. 
Look at us go figuring this thing out in real time. Yeah, and that means that means. Oh, I don't I don't want this to have a, a path here because this is going to have to be a T intersection. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now we're cooking. We are cooking. Here we go. Look at us. Look at us go. So th <laughs> that's going to be. Oh, you know what I need to do is I need to get. Uh, I need to get this demolished. I hope that's not the. Uh, there we go. There we go. How many times can I say there we go before people jump through my computer screen to strangle me? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, this is going to fit here if we ever did that, and then this will go right here. That is thinking with portals, friends. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Is it dumb to be this excited about this? Yeah, probably, but I don't care. We're having a good time. And that's what it's all about, right? You play the game to enjoy yourself and... Uh, figure out fun interesting new things to do so let's let's gather all this stuff out of the uh, the bottom here and oh yeah this is this is oh it's so exciting so nice to see this finally finally get improved and it oh boy did it need it I'll tell you what that is a that's a big improvement we don't have everything quite back the way it was before but we've already gained a lot of space here for farming especially once these irrigation barriers are in place so we'll let them take care of all that stuff. Uh, this is now ready here. Uh, as soon as this is connected again... Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of this. But we're making it work. We are making it work. Yeah, get this stuff in place. I'm so glad this is all connected now. That is really going to make things a whole lot easier, even if, <laughs> even if they're all running at 5%. Um, I guess we can probably... Oh man, all those sounds. Probably pause these. Yeah, now we're at 7%. Yeah, talk about, a, talk about an efficiency jump there. But uh, we need to keep making the treated planks so we can get the rest of this stuff done. But hey, we're going to have another temperate cycle after this, so that's going to be just fine. Uh, trees. Oh, wow. Yeah, they cleaned this out real fast. So once that... We have 39 unemployed beavers. Probably because I uh, got rid of a lot of this other stuff. But man, are we making some stuff happen here, folks. That's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. We have tons of water. I don't need to build any more pumps right now, which is you know probably a good thing. Uh, <laughs> given how this has, uh, has gone some ways. So now we have... Uh, Plenty of bad water is still sitting down, buried somewhere underneath all this garbage. They'll come grab it at some point in the future. We need to find another place to put uh, some bad water pumps when the time comes. I know I did say uh, we're going to put some down here, but uh, it got flushed out. So I guess that solves that problem. I'm just trying to think, is there anything else we can really, uh, really sink our teeth into before we're done with this one? Because... We are going to end this at the end of this drought. I think just having stuff built is probably enough. Uh, probably enough for us to be happy with here. So what I'm going to do, I think, yeah, we're going to want to, how did I build this over here? Okay, I just left the, uh, I left the central platform in place just because I didn't want to rock the boat too much. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Thank you. All right, yeah. So we'll just uh, we'll just build over the top of this real quick. Make sure everything is in place for us to uh, replace all of this with the uh, the barriers. We have the ability to get across down there, so I can actually right here go ahead and replace this with a ladder. Oh man, I, I love the ladders mod. I don't know if I've said that today or not. I probably have, but I don't care. I'm going to say it again. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic mod. Yeah, let's get this. Uh... Oh, that's just those things unhooked. Because for some, some reason I decided that would be a smart idea to have this... Uh... Wait, hold on. Oh, I had my fingers on the wrong buttons. 
Good job, me. Come on, let me click on the path. There we go. Come on. All right. Very good. So now this will become a priority here. Yeah, get those guys constructed because then I can come underneath. Oh, uh, this isn't going to be... Oh, it's not going to be connected anyway. That's fine. Then I can make those guys priorities as well. Probably didn't need to have those be super prioritized, but hey, you take what you can get, right? So that is going to be nice to have that done. And once that's done, I can finally get rid of this and put the irrigation barriers all the way back to the corner. And that is going to, uh, well, once everything else gets built, bad waterproof this entire quadrant. Because this whole side's done, I'm pretty sure. We just, oh, hold on. We just look all the way. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so this is in place. The uh, ladder should be built shortly. And this is all constructed. Uh, okay, no, we still have this platform and this water wheel to build. So I guess I could leave the stairs here. Also, we don't have bad water, so that's not really that big of a deal. Uh, this just needs somebody to come finish it. There we go. There we go. Do we not have this connected? That feels like a mistake. I, we're going to get rid of these anyway, but go ahead and get that hooked up and get these guys to uh, start using the alternative routes here. And we'll get this fixed up here. We'll actually super prioritize. Oh, I can't because we, uh, we're we out. We are out. So they have actually... I'm going to do a bad thing here. I'm going to get rid of those because they already had those, and I'm <laughs> I'm going to super prioritize these four. Probably not the right way to do it, but you know what? They're already here, and we can't make any more, <laughs> at least not quickly. So we'll get that going, and that is... Oh, that's really going to get us set up in a really nice way. And then eventually, of course, we'll have this whole thing connected uh, pathwise up top, and that will be a very nice connection there. Yeah. Oh, I feel so good about this. This is going to be so nice when it's done. And we are actually a little bit closer than you'd think. A little bit closer than you'd think. I think we'd be pretty happy with this. We've got 1.3 days left. Let's speed through the night here. See how we're looking on our trees. Yeah, they're making quick work of this. We have plenty of wood. Uh, the, the planks are uh, not looking too hot, but... Uh, we can unpause this once the uh, water comes back, and that's going to be looking fantastic. So, uh, what is all this on the ground here? Gears, logs, metal blocks. Uh, don't really have metal block storage up here, do we? Well, I'll tell you what, let's prioritize uh, gathering all this stuff up. Clean this up just a touch. Give our builders something to do, because you know we have a lot of them. In fact, I probably could build a couple more of these builders' huts, but I didn't want to didn't want to complicate things too terribly much with everything else going on here. All right, so these guys are waiting for treated planks, which they should have if they paid attention. So what happened to all the treated planks? Oh, there's no storage for them. That's probably what the problem is. But I thought I made thought I made storage for those things. Yeah, I sure did. What's up with that? What's up with that? Or is this just not connected? No, it should be. It should all be connected. They should have no problems. Alright, I guess I have to manually prioritize the tree of plant collection. Didn't think that was gonna be a thing. I guess they got so much out else to do that they just kind of forgot. Well, we can take it off at three times speed. This was just something I thought would be nice to have uh, have figured out. But we are already looking so much better here. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to have some other stuff hooked up here. Having these four oil presses right here is nice. I think what we can do, since this is so close to the farms, uh, this next little section here can be all about food things. I know we have this here. 
And we probably will keep at least some of this because it connects the power nicely. Uh, but this is all for uh, messing with corn and eggplant. So I think what we're going to end up doing is this can be corn and eggplant land. And then we can take all of the eggplants out of here and instead uh, continue to grow some other stuff. And then all of this processing can be over here. But I, I think that's going to have to be a next time thing. Uh, hopefully you guys can remind me in the comments, keep me honest about what I, uh, what I say and what I don't say we're going to get to because... It's uh, entirely possible that I don't record another episode of this for a week or so. D depends on what I've got going on uh, traveling-wise. But uh, very, very good stuff done today. If nothing else, this looks nicer. It might not perform nicer, but uh, it certainly is a visual improvement. Very, very good stuff. So, end of the drought and the start of cycle 18. Here comes a very loud noise in about two seconds. Hopefully it's not too loud. That's a fun sound, though. It's really loud in my headphones. I don't know what it sounds like in the video. But there we have it. Cycle 18, day one. Water's going to begin to flow again, and we're going to have all of these things up and running, making good use. Look, we have a thousand. We have a thousand logs. Oh, man. This is, this is so exciting. So exciting. And we're on our way to getting everything else figured out here as well. That's so, so fun. Oh, also this enormous gear warehouse can go away. I know, I said we're going to end the episode. What, what do I do every time? I say we're going to end the episode and then I find other things to do. But that just goes to show you can have a whole lot of fun playing this game. No, 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 no. Don't get rid of that. Don't get rid of that. I guess we'll just... Uh, just click on the path and manually remove it. Oh, look, it's like it's like a beaver roundabout. Look at that. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> oh, this, this game is this game is great, man. Oh, it's fantastic. So once the uh, water comes back in, we're going to be good. Before I forget, I will unpause all of these. Oh, man, that is a cacophony of just the most incredible noises. These guys are looking good. He's looking a little thirsty, but uh, we can solve that problem. He comes up here and gets a drink. And yeah, this is going to be a great spot to leave this one. I feel very, very happy about this. And you know it's just going to get better when we have all the food stuff taken care of. We might even still have some space to grow some more stuff here. But yeah, great, great stuff. We still have 19 unemployed beavers. Uh, we will fix that next time when everything else is turned back on. And yep, we are looking good. So yeah, as always, appreciate you watching. Appreciate all of the fantastic feedback and the support. And even the comments that just say hi. I, lo I love reading all that stuff. I do read every single one, even though I haven't been responding as much lately because I've been doing some family stuff for the holidays. I do take the time to read every single comment. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just want to say hi, like I just said before, uh, welcome that in the comments. As always, I'm very appreciative of you and the Beard Boosters as well for all of it. Your support and their fantastic support makes it possible for me to continue doing this stuff. And the support this past year has been amazing. Uh, looking forward to even more fun stuff here in 2024. So we got plenty of stuff on tap, and we're really going to hit the ground running uh, once I'm fully back up and running after the holidays. So hopefully we'll see you for some of that fun stuff. I don't know when the next video is coming out. As I'm recording this, it is the evening of January 1st. And this is either going to go up for the second or the third. And then after that, I'm not sure. But I will do my best to communicate that with you guys. We'll have at least a couple videos a week uh, moving forward, depending on what my schedule is looking like. But I digress. That's quite enough babbling. We'll go ahead and let you guys uh, get on with the rest of your day. So whatever it is you're doing, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.